The reason the whole country got behind the Games was 10 million people turned out on the streets to watch that torch uh, go through uh, their communities. And uh, the people that were running with those torches uh, weren't what would normally happen in Olympic Games, which is that the sponsors, who incidentally pay for the, the torch relay, it's about an eight or nine million pound project, um, normally the sponsors would nominate their salesman of the week or their retailer of the week or the, whatever. Um, we insisted in London that 90% of all those torchbearers were nominated by local communities, local heroes. So when those people were turning out on the street, they were watching their local heroes, their local teachers, local sports uh, coaches, their local war hero, uh, people that have really done significant things for the community. And I knew we were on to something very special. On the first day in Land's End, you saw Ben Ainsley there in Land's End starting off the torch relay, and on that, Day, uh, I went down actually for operational reasons more than anything else to make sure it was all working and I stood in the back of Media One which was a truck that had all the television cameras on it in front of the runner so that I could see what was going on uh, and what struck me within minutes frankly of that uh, uh, relay starting was the faces of the people on the streets and the faces of the torchbearers this was something very special when we got to Plymouth and 55, this is 320 miles from London, okay? About as far away as you can get from London, uh, 55,000 people turned out in Plymouth to welcome just a torch, nothing else. And the atmosphere was just electric. So that paved the, 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 the I think that bode well, I think, for, for what, was, uh, what was to come. Um, for me, I'll just give you some of my own little recollections. For me, I thought, um, one of our greatest successes were the venues. We put them in amazing places, you know, rowing in front of Windsor Castle at Eton Dornay, um, beach volleyball in Horse Guards Parade, equestrian uh, in Greenwich Park with the whole of London as a backdrop, uh, some extraordinary venues. And, our, and, and one of the great things that we did, I think, if you went to any of the sport, uh, was to give the sports presentation managers, every venue had a sports presentation manager, and we gave them complete latitude to make uh, their sport entertaining. Remember, many of these sports, the public will never have seen.